everyone, welcome back to Film Geek 520. My name is Helen and today's review of the new movie Hustlers is going to be a little bit different. As I'm developing this series, I would really like to go in depth on the movies that I review and that's not always possible with new release films because I'd rather be sitting in the cinema having a good time than taking notes. Sorry I'm not sorry. So this is going to be more of an initial review of Hustlers, which, spoiler alert, I loved. And when the film comes out on Blu-ray in a few months, I'll do a more in-depth review then. That being said, I have a lot to say about this film after its initial viewing, so let's get going. Hustlers is written and directed by Lorene Scafaria and stars Constance Wu as Destiny, a stripper who is down on her luck until she becomes a mentee of Ramona Vega, played by Jennifer Lopez, who is the headliner at the strip club that they both work at. The club is very successful and the strippers do make a generous amount of money at their job until the 2008 financial crisis hits and the rich men who would patron the club, who also happen to be the same rich men that caused the crisis, stop showing up. Left back on hard times, Ramona recruits Destiny along with Mercedes, played by Kiki Palmer, and Annabelle, played by Lily Reinhardt, to exact revenge on their former clients by getting them drunk enough to give them their credit card details and ring them up. Of course, the scheme does eventually unravel and the women are left to deal with the consequences of this. This film is actually based on a real-life scheme committed by strippers in New York, as detailed by Jessica Pressler in the article The Hustlers at Score in New York Magazine, and the film smartly uses the interview process for this article as a framing device for the story. In the film, Pressler is portrayed as a journalist named Elizabeth, and she's played by Julia Stiles, and the story is told through Destiny's recounting of the events during the interview. This particular filmmaking tool helps pace the story very well and it moves along quite nicely. Now, there is a lot I love about this film. For starters, Jennifer Lopez is absolutely incredible in this role to the point where she really steals the film and she really committed to it, even taking lessons from a real life stripper in order to prepare for this amazing sequence that she performs at the beginning of the film. Now, even though J.Lo is getting a lot of attention for her performance, the protagonist of the film is actually Constance Wu, and we really need to talk about her in this movie. As the protagonist, she is the most sympathetic character in a movie ostensibly about a heist, and she is a great conduit for the audience as we discover the world as she does. Wu also expertly portrays the conflict that her character feels as the schemes start to get out of hand, and she really is the only one who questions Ramona's motives for expanding the operation and letting it get out of control. Kiki Palmer and Lily Reinhardt round out the main group of four that the film focuses on, and although Cardi B and Lizzo, Cardi B by the way is a former real life stripper, are in a lot of the promo material, their appearances in the film can be best classified as glorified cameos, which, hey, they kill it. They're amazing. Uh, but I feel it's important for you as audience members to know that before you go in. The casting overall of this film is incredibly spot on and it is unapologetically diverse. It includes women who are African American, who are Latina, who are of Asian descent, and none of these characters ever devolve into stereotypes. Hustlers also strays away from stereotypes that surround strippers in films that are made largely with a male gaze. Showgirls, anyone? These women are always in control of their own situations in an environment that a lot of people might not think they would have any. And it's only when that control starts to slip away from them that they resort to crimes to get that control back. This is one of the many advantages of having a woman behind a camera in this situation as opposed to a man. The scenes that contain strip teases are largely kept to the first half of the film and instead of being shot specifically for the male gaze, the women are portrayed as very powerful and confident and sexy in their routines. Which leads me to my favorite aspect about this film, and that is the bond of sisterhood portrayed between these women throughout the story. From the very beginning of the film, we are shown that the women who work at this strip club will look out for each other no matter what. Ramona takes Destiny under her wing to help her become a better dancer, and the other dancers even assist in helping her succeed. There's another scene later on in the film where Ramona helps Annabelle out by giving her a tampon when she gets her period unexpectedly on the job. 
And with the scheme in the film, yes, it is satisfying to see these rich men get their comeuppance, but the main focus of Ramona and Destiny is to look out for the women that they are trying to take care of and make sure that they are well provided for. And this is most apparent in the scene where they all get together for Christmas and exchange gifts. They really are like a wonderful adopted family to each other. This family is, of course, tainted by the actions that they take against the rich people that they scam, but the film does a good job of keeping you on their side. It also emphasizes that while these women will probably go to jail for their actions, the rich people that they've scammed, who have done much, 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 much worse, will never see a second of jail time. And that really hit close to home for me. Smartly, the scheme only begins to unravel when Ramona gets too ambitious and starts to look out for herself more than the other girls. And that bond of sisterhood is more or less broken. Many films where a big star takes on a protege often end with the protege mercilessly brushing their mistress aside and becoming the new big star. With the exception of Ramona for a brief few minutes, no woman in this film is out to be more successful or more well-off or more well-liked than the others that they share a bond with. And that is so different and so refreshing and so beautiful to see. Women do not always have to be competing with each other. Period. It's as simple as that. One last note I will touch on with this film is its ingenious use of music. Lorene Scafaria says that she thought of this film as a musical, and her music choices to underscore the scenes are absolutely brilliant. To the point that I didn't realize until after I got home, the film doesn't have a traditional score. The choices range from classical pieces to modern pop songs, and they do a great job of conveying tone. I mean, heck, the film starts off with Janet Jackson's control as well as the temporal setting of the film. The film begins in 2007, and it includes a sequence set to Britney Spears' Gimme More, Flo Rida's Club Can't Handle Me is playing when the film moves to 2011, and at the climax, set in 2013-2014, we get an amazing sequence set to Royals by Lord. And this is, by the way, the first film that Lord has ever licensed her music to, and it is used brilliantly. The film is ostensibly a period piece, but it is a period piece about a time that I remember very, very well. I mean, my family and just about everyone else was really affected by the financial crisis in 2008. And the music in this film helps me place the events of the film in the context of the wider world. All in all, I had a really great time with Hustlers, and I highly, highly recommend you check it out while it is still in cinemas. It grossed $33 million in its opening weekend in the US, which makes it the highest ever opening for a film starring women of color, and it has earned almost $70 million worldwide as of this recording. Take your friends, heck, take your husband like I did, and just go see it. This really is a movie that anyone can enjoy, um, unless you're under 18 in the US or under 15 in the UK. Please don't get in trouble at the cinema on my account. Sorry. We need more films that portray relationships between women like this, and we will hopefully get more of this with the success that Hustlers has been getting. As for next week's review, Booksmart is finally coming out on Blu-ray over here, which means that I will be discussing that very in depth, and I am so, 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 so excited to talk about it with you guys. So make sure you guys come right back here next week to check that out. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for new women in film reviews every single Sunday. Let me know what your thoughts on Hostlers are in the comments down below, and make sure to give me suggestions for movies that I should review in the future. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at HelenMarie95 and on Instagram at HelenMarie underscore 95. Both of those links will be down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to keep living awesome lives, and I will see you all next week. Bye.